Friday afternoon to you, 4 o'clock time for Sports 4 CLE. Hope your weekend and your holidays are off to a great start. Thanks for joining us. Uh, Browns getting ready for a game tomorrow against the New Orleans Saints. It will be cold. It might be a little snowy. It will be frigid. That's some news off the field today, though. Uh, Andrew Berry not taking the holidays off. He's got it to work and signed Jack Conklin a four-year, $60 million extension, the, saying that it's $31 million fully guaranteed. The first two years of that um, are the guaranteed years, right around $15, $15.5 million. Um, you see that move. So uh, Jack Conklin came out and said he would like to end his career here in Cleveland, considers this home. Uh, sounds like he's going to get the opportunity to do that. Let's welcome in Jacob Roach from Dog Pound Daily. Jacob, I, I mean, $15 million is not a lot of money for an offensive lineman that has the pedigree of Jack Conklin. He hasn't played great, but he's coming off a, a pretty significant injury, and he's been beat up. So all in all, it, it's a, a move I kind of like. Yeah, it's, it's a move, I think, that kind of confirms what some of us have thought about them potentially going all in coming up in 2023, 2024, like you mentioned, with it being fully guaranteed in those two years, as opposed to the back end of this, the final two. I was pretty shocked just because I thought Conklin looked like he was trending towards them moving on, maybe drafting a replacement or putting James Hudson in there. But yeah, I mean... I said that the the injury risk and the injuries that have been coming up was kind of scary, but I was talking on Twitter, but I think that trying to replace him and get the level of play that he has consistently brought, even if it's a step back from when he what he was a couple of years ago, I think it may have just been too hard to, you know, replace that. And when you got a good player, you don't let him go for the maybes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, absolutely. And that line is going to continue to be an important part of, of what they want to do uh, moving forward. It, when you look at it, the salary cap is going to continue to go up. Uh, right now at $15 million a year, he figures to be like the 20th, 18th, 20th, somewhere around there, paid tackle. So, again, it's a pretty, it's a pretty decent value play. Now, if he gets hurt and falls off the face of the earth, you know, the next couple of years, you're going to start questioning the move. But, you know, those are the moves that Andrew Berry needs to make.